Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to cook rice, white rice, without a rice cooker, no measuring cups, just your finger. And some filling. I hope you can follow along and enjoy this episode of Cooking with Arlene. This is an easy way to cook white rice using a regular stainless pot. It won't be soupy, too sticky, nor undercooked, but just right. One cup of raw rice will yield three cups of cooked rice. So fill up your pot with grains, no more than one-third of its size. Wash the rice thoroughly and drain the murky water. You can use a sift to keep the grains from falling. This will remove the extra starch that could make your cooked rice too sticky and mushy. Here's how to determine the right amount of water without using a measuring cup, just your fingers and some feelings. Who knows, once you've mastered this, you might not need a measuring cup to cook regular white rice ever again. Alright, now here's how it's done. Add a little bit of water to flatten the rice, making sure that it's totally leveled. Now dip your middle finger all the way to the bottom of the pot and using your thumb, mark the point of the surface level of the rice. If you're doing this for the first time, do not separate your thumb and middle finger, okay? Alright, now, using the tip of your middle finger, gently feel the surface of the rice. Do not press, just feel it and keep it there while you gently and slowly fill it with water up until where your thumb sits. How about a quick experiment to check if, by this method, we get the right volume of water, which is 1 is to 1 and a half. Meaning, to every cup of white and cooked rice, we need about 1 and a half cups of water. In this demo, I place two scoops of rice using the rice measuring cup. So it needs three scoops of water, which is equivalent to two cups using the standard liquid measuring cup. Let's add water using our method. No measuring cup. But once again, with just our fingers and some feelings. Let's see if we got enough water. Feel the surface, okay? And I feel it needs a little bit more. One last check. Get our measuring cup now. Drain our water into it. Hey, it works! Ooh, I have to admit, I got a bit worried there. Alright, done with our experiment. Back to cooking rice. Time to put that pot we set aside earlier on the stove. Turn the fire on. Set on high heat. Then bring it to a boil. When it boils, turn off the flame. Leave it off for 10 minutes to allow the temperature to lower and settle a little bit. This will let the grains absorb water, so you will have rice that's moist, not dry, and most importantly, your rice won't get burnt. You might get curious and would want to take a peek, but no matter what, do not remove the lid. We don't want the steam to escape. We need every little bit of it to cook our rice just right. After 10 minutes, Turn the fire back on and set the flame to low, the lowest flame possible. Let it cook for another 5 minutes. Remove from heat and let it sit for at least 10 minutes to allow the residual heat to cook our rice further. And once again, 
Do not remove the lid. Don't worry, it's not as hard as it seems. It's all gonna be worth it, I promise. We're almost done with our white rice. On my next video, I will show you how to upgrade your white rice to something more special. I'm thinking fried rice. Chinese style. Mm, yum. Right, and we're done. Let's go check our rice. So excited. Nice. Just right. Not too sticky. Not mushy. Not uncooked at all. Just right. I hope you learned something from me today. Until next time, with Cook Sing with Arlene. Please don't forget to subscribe down below and leave your comments too. Extra rice.